Oh, hi. Didn't see you down there. I was just writing a note to this family that's hosting me in this sweet house. I hope you've been enjoying the True Story game. It's been out for a couple of years now. If you're like me, most of you have not figured out yet what to do with the blank cards in there. I'm going to open this up using the little secret tab that's on the side of the game here. It's kind of hard to find sometimes, but I found it. Otherwise, it can be kind of hard to open it. Okay, get the game open. The blank ones we put in there so that people will get creative. There's only four, but like most people don't have the time to like think about it or I don't know, it's just kind of a hassle. The first thing you can do with them, which like you don't even have to watch the end of this video, you can just throw them in the trash. That way nobody's gonna be drawing the blank ones and you don't have to be creative or think of anything new. And then the other nice thing, most people don't think about this when they think about the trash, but uh, you can still get it back out of the trash, usually for about three or four days. Obviously that doesn't count if there was something else in there, but here there was literally nothing else in the trash can. So we're, we're, we can just take it out. Oftentimes you have that opportunity. Let's think. So for this set of four cards, I was originally thinking to choose one of each of the family members, but there's five people five people who live here. So I think I might just set aside three of them for the kiddos and each of those cards is going to have a kid's name on them. I can just do that now. Okay, got that. I'm not going to show you their names because that feels a little bit weird. And when they're playing, they will come upon those cards and have to then think of a story that includes one of those characters. So now I've got one card left. And really, we could just think of any word in the world. Uh, first word that came to mind just now was God. And I'm going with it. I'm just putting the G-O-D on here. If I wanted to get extra creative, I could take a smaller pen and write a little poem on each of them. Actually, I encourage you to try that. It's kind of fun. Now that you're sitting in front of your True Story cards with... Uh, pen, maybe that's something you'll do, and maybe it's something I'll do after I turn the video off. Before that, I want to play you a song. Just kidding, I don't actually know how to play the piano. I forgot to show you my card. Here it is, pretty simple. When we made this game, we had never designed a game before, and we knew a little bit about storytelling, so you can, if you want, really follow those uh, instructions quite closely and, and really let yourself be guided by them. Or if you want, just take these cards and, and use them however it feels useful to you. A lot of people will take a card and, uh, you know, this one says makeup, and then, uh, what that does for my brain right now is it just helps me stop thinking about whatever the other things I was thinking about. Like, I wasn't thinking about makeup, but now I am. Time to say I'm sorry. Time to tell a tall tale. Time to look in the mirror. I mean, you literally use them as poems if you want to. Just something to kind of like kick, kick a new uh, thought thread into your brain to help like freshen things up. And it feels good. That's handy. That's a handy little... Uh, Exercise. Hand a little poem. Okay, okay. All right. Goodbye. Oh, where did that card go? S card go.